Hey guys, Crypto Dad, welcome. And welcome to Crypto Dad's Lightning Tips, where I show you how to do a quick installation with verification. Today we're going to be doing GPG for Windows. So uh, I had a few problems with my hard drive. Uh, I threw up my hands and decided to reinstall everything from scratch, Windows, uh, everything. So uh, I had a lot of software that I needed to reinstall and I thought why not do a lot of quick videos uh, so you can walk through with me while I do these installs. So today we're doing GPG for Windows. Let's go over here to the big board. All right, so we're going to use Firefox and keep in mind that we want our options to reflect the uh, always ask where to save files this helps us when we uh, are downloading software to put it in meaningful places on our hard drive okay so that being done i'll also show you another trick that i like to use if we go here to the uh, file explorer uh, now i as you can see i have uh, several drives connected to my computer and this is my local drive where i have windows installed and this is my four terabyte data drive. Now I've got some folders here on that drive. One of them is software where I put a lot of stuff that's meaningful for me. We want to be able to get into this quickly so we'll just right click the folder and choose pin to quick access. Okay and as you can see it just comes up over here. So we have quick access to this software folder. Alright so that being said let's commence so we're gonna to go to the GPG for Windows website I'll put links to all these uh, sites down in the description we're gonna click download GPG for Windows we're not gonna donate for simplicity's sake we'll hit I'm sorry we're not gonna donate and we hit download and when it comes up for the the dialog box comes up we'll click save file okay we're gonna go over here to our software folder we're going to create a new folder called GPG for Win. We'll hit enter here. Uh, double click this folder and click save. And that's just going to drop that guy right in there. Uh, if we click this down arrow, uh, we can open up the folder. And there it is. Now we just need to verify that. How do we do that? We go over here to check integrity. And we're going to scroll down here to the SHA-56 256 checksums. Over here is our GPG for Windows installer. That's the one that we just downloaded. And I'm going to highlight this uh, SHA sum. That is a cryptographic hash. And then we're going to right click and copy. Now we're going to use uh, some SHA, a SHA sum checker, uh, some software. I'll put a description to this in the uh, description, or I'll put a link to this in the description down below. We're going to click Browse, and we're going to go over here to our GPG for Windows. Now, let's say it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the last thing that we had saved, and we just opened up to Downloads or whatever. Then we just click Software over here. Oh, we'll scroll down to the latest folder that we created. As you can see, I've got it as Date Modified, so it shows us the last thing we downloaded. All right, we're just going to click Open on this file, and you'll see it churned away and generated this SHA-256 on that installer. Now we just want to make sure that it's the same SHA-256 that they're providing on the web page for verification. Uh, it looks very similar to 56BF6, but remember we just copied and pasted that into our clipboard, so we click Paste and Verify, and we see the SHA-256 hash matched. So that means that we got a good copy of the installer, it was not altered in transport or corrupted in transport. We're going to double click here, click yes, and get that guy out of your way. We're going to click OK here and next. Now I like to tick GPA. I like to use GPA. It's a front end interface for the key manager. We're going to click next. I like to stick with the defaults. We're going to let that guy churn away. And after the install, I'm just going to do a quick 
uh, run through of the opening steps. All right. Uh, boy, it wants me to reboot. Well, I usually do reboot, but in this case, uh, okay. Now, uh, GPA here, uh, I'm going to pin to taskbar. Cleopatra, I'm going to pin to taskbar. And then I'm going to get rid of those guys because I like to create, uh, keep a clean and tidy desktop, as you can see. So we just click that GPA. And that's our first run. We'll generate the key in a different video. Uh, that's your personal key. And there you have it. There's that empty key manager, and that's where we can uh, download developers' uh, signing keys uh, for our cryptographic verifications. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm glad you came. I'm trying to get these installation videos short and sweet for those of us with short attention spans like myself. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be alerted whenever I post new videos, click the subscribe link. Thanks again for joining me. See you again real soon.